Welcome to the first in a series of notes I'm publishing on how to set up and execute a standard data import in ServiceNow. Uh, the series of notes will cover what's needed to build and understand the ServiceNow components that make up a standard import, including data sources, import sets, transform maps, field maps, and finally, we'll talk about data import scheduling. Um, in this first note, I really just wanted to uh, set the stage with some terminology that we'll be using throughout the series of notes. Um, normally, when we think of um, doing an import of data, we think of two data entities. There's usually a source data entity that stores the data that we're trying to import. And then there's some target entity into which we would like that data uh, loaded. Um, as we get into the ServiceNow import process, you're going to see that Service, ServiceNow introduces an intermediary uh, data entity between those two steps. Um, ServiceNow calls that intermediary table an import set table. I'm going to refer to it throughout these notes as a staging table. Um, biggest point here is I wanted to, to let you all know that when you hear me say staging table, um, it's the same thing as what ServiceNow refers to as an import set table. And I'll try to remember to uh, mention that as often as possible. I think staging table um, simplifies uh, understanding the process a bit. So staging table in between the source and the target. The staging ta table is something that ServiceNow automatically creates for us when we kick off our imports. Not, it's not a table we have to manually create. Um, so that's all taken care of for us. So you can see the process really here has three data entities. Uh, we have our source data. We have the staging uh, table that ServiceNow will create for us as the import starts. And then finally, we have the target um, data store where we'd like the, uh, the data to finally end up within ServiceNow. Our first step in building our import um, is going to be the creation of what ServiceNow calls a data source. And we will cover that in the next note. Thank you very much for joining.